the H2 flight control system supports SPUS, DZEM, Ehlers, and other mainstream transmitter protocols. The transmitter requires at least 8 channels. Next we will explain how to connect your transmitter to H2. First, we will understand the basic channel allocation. We can see from the user manual the channel allocation of the transmitter. You can pause the video to view the function of CH5 CH9. Next, we first create a fixed wing model on the transmitter. Because this mode has no mix controls, when using the flight controller, the transmitter's channels must be independent. Next, connect the receiver to the flight controller. Connect the receiver's SPUS port to the H2E's Arson port. Note the direction of the signal line. The one end of the flight control socket with a groove is the signal. Next we will use BEC or ESC to power the system. Insert the power into the ESC port of the flight controller. Next, bind the transmitter and receiver together. Operate according to your transmitter manual. The Futaba here needs to restart the receiver to complete binding. Next, refer to the previous instructions to set the function switch. Set the CH5 mode switch to a 3 position switch. Assign the switches based on your own habits for convenience. CH6 is configured as a 3 position tactile switch. CH7 is set as a 2 position switch for motor stop and run. CH8 is return home mode, configured as a 2 position switch. If you need to connect other external devices, connect to CH9. You need to set CH9 switch and connect the device to the S6 port. Note that the BEC power is sufficient to support external devices. Connect the H2 to the Windows PC, then open the setup software. The software can be downloaded from the official website. Open the software, select the correct COM port, and click Connect. Click on Radio to enter the Transmitter Adjustment Interface based on the direction of the software progress bar. Adjust in the reverse menu. Make the joystick direction consistent with the software display. We can see that the joystick direction is consistent with the software. Next, we will check the direction of the switch. Set the reverse direction of each switch according to your preferences. After setting up, compare with the progress bar in the software. Stick a sticker on the switch for easy memory retention. Check and label the remaining switches as well. Finally, let's calibrate the joystick. Click Start Calibration. Move the two joysticks to the max and min stroke. Click to write parameters. As long as the max and min values below are basically the same, it's enough.